Hi guys, Mr. Johnny here. In this video I'm gonna show you a little switch mode power supply that I built a few years back and it's been working like a champ and it still is. And here it is. It's a little LED dryer. Secret I again took from Denix website. I built this circuit like um, at least two years ago and it's running like a champ. As you can see construction is just like the <laughs> author suggested, so yeah, very precisely reproduced, I would say. But the problem was that um, I built a wattmeter and I decided to measure how, po how much power it consumes. By the way, I have it set up so it puts out one watt into this couple of three watt LEDs in parallel. I underrun them severely. This way they run very cool, so I don't need large heatsink. This little copper clad is more than sufficient. They don't get uh, they don't get hot to the touch, they're barely warm, like 40 or so degrees Celsius. So I measured the, how much power it consumes and it came out at 3 watts. And I know that my output is about 1 watt. So efficiency is like one third. I was like, what the hell? So I contacted Danik about it, left a comment on his video and he, being very kind man, gave me some hints how to possibly improve it. So that's what I did. I changed some parts, which you can see here. Three resistors and one capacitor. Let me show you where they were. Okay. So what those parts do? This was a startup resistor. It was a 470K, which is a bit discolored, as you can see, because again, I had 300, over 300 volts across it, so that's quite a dissipation on it. So I replaced it with two 470Ks in series. That's essentially a half watt resistor now, dissipation wise, and now it's uh, able to withstand twice as much voltage as a normal quarter watt resistor will do. There is another little capacitor, this yellow thing. I replace this one with this one. This was a 2.2 nanofarads, as you can see. And the frequency, I actually measured the frequency, and with this with the original setup that I had, it was running, <coughs> I kid you not, 26 kilohertz. I was very surprised, <laughs> because the uh, article on Danix website says it should run at 80 kilohertz. So it's no surprise that it doesn't rank that efficiently at all. Next I also replace it, that resistor which you can see tucked there, hopefully you can see that 100 ohm resistor right there. That was 330 ohm. This way I also upped the frequency a little bit and I also compensated uh, the base current because I used a smaller value capacitor and even though the frequency went up I still was concerned that this transistor wouldn't receive as much base current as it needs. This transistor has a pathetic beta of about 20 so yeah it needs quite a bit of current into the base to switch efficiently. And the third part, which is this 100k resistor, which is quite discolored, as you can see. Focus. See? It's a little bit discolored. And now its value is 130 kilo, kilo ohms <laughs> instead of 100. So I replace that with 100 kilo ohm resistor, which is of what rated, so it's gonna be more than sufficient for this application. And now the circuit consumes 2.3 watts instead of 3.1. So yeah, I was able to shave uh, 0.8 watts or so. Let me hook up the wattmeter and show you that it, ind that it indeed does work, still. Because I was quite, you know, uh, quite worried that it might stop working <laughs> after I do it, do some modifications to it because that's the way it is, at least in my case. I do some improvements 
and the secret uh, stops working in the best case and blows up in my face in the worst case all right I guess you can see it all clearly let me try to electrocute let me try to connect this and it lights and it consumes eh, third digit is not very accurate 2.3 watts I'm gonna say which is very nice because again it was consuming 3.1 according to this meter so that's an improvement which improvement it is which is a 26% improvement it now consumes 26% less and it is now about uh, I don't know 2.3 about 40% efficient no that's not very fantastic still but I say it's fine I don't expect it to be very efficient because first the secret is very simple then again the Danik Danik said that small power supplies are less efficient than the bigger ones and I already knew that but I forgot about it so yeah I wasn't expecting it to be like over 60% efficient but 40% will do anyway it now consumes 2.3 instead of 3.1 watts from the mains and I'm happy with that so that's that guys I'm gonna now put the cover back and use this device for many more years I hope because it's already been running for like two years now or maybe more can't say for sure and I used it a lot I mean like um, I go I get home at 6 a.m. 6 p.m. I turn it on and it stays for like 11 p.m. or something like that a long running light so anyway I bored you with bevel already thanks for watching see ya